morning. I'm just walking down the Pilgrim's Trail. Pilgrim's Trail runs from Winchester to St Michael's in France. It actually goes from Winchester Cathedral, winds through Hampshire till it gets to Portsmouth Harbour, my hometown, <laughs> and uh, then across the channel and it carries on when you get to France. So what I'm going to do, I'm just uh, just going for a wander because it's April 12th today and all the shops are open in Portsmouth and I've just got a feeling it's going to be chaos. So uh, yeah, just going to go for a little wander in a woodland that I've never been in before, see what it's like. And uh, I've got some chicken burgers and some mushrooms, just going to have a chicken burger sandwich. Chicken burger and mushroom sandwich. So yeah. I'll bring you back when I get near the spot. A load of sloes growing here. It's a blackthorn bush, I do believe. Beautiful. A beautiful tune. I could put a bit of music to that. It's a rabbit there. Just going through the uh, just going through the fence there. A little rabbit hole. Just ran down there. <laughs> Hello cows. Okay. <laughs> They're probably thinking, he's this loon walking the country lanes. There's some more there, look. Looking at me. Chewing on the cud. Hello. Hello. A bit slippery along this road. Very, I think it's wet all the time actually. Yeah. Wet all the time. Phew. Lovely area. And do you know what? I've got a feeling that this bush here. All these, yeah, wild garlic. Loads and loads of wild garlic. How about that? Unmistakable. She hasn't flowered yet. Oh, I'm gonna pick some. I'm gonna have some with me chicken burger. <laughs> uh, let's get some young ones. Some young shoots. I'm going to pick where I think a dog hasn't been. So. Unmistakable. Look how much there is. All this wild garlic. Some flowers starting to come out there. I can't believe it, I've never seen this much. An abundance, I think they would say. Actually, there's so much wild garlic here, you can actually smell it in the air. Or is it because I just picked some? I don't know, but. Yeah, it's great. Oh, so good to be out. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I can imagine 
or at the carnage <laughs> it's going to be in Portsmouth at Gun Wharf. I've just dropped the missus off there. I've still got another week off from school so I thought I'd take advantage of the fact and uh, I can just imagine it's going to be chaos. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to the shops. I never wanted to go to shops. I just wanted to go to the woods. And here I am at last, in the woods. Oh, oh God. I mean, come on. Who would do that? Dump all their crap there. I mean, how did they get in here, for God's sake? I don't know. Nothing is sacred. Nowhere is sacred. I mean, for God's sake, that push chair looks like it's been there for years. What a shame. What an absolute shame just to dump it there. On the Pilgrim's Trail. I have come off the trail a little bit. So I'm getting hungry. And I want a cup of coffee. So I'm going to find myself somewhere. Try not to tread on the bluebells that are going to be coming up. Some are already up. Some are already coming up. Look at this sun. A couple more weeks and this place will be a wash. My bluebells. I'm step between them. Lovely spot over there. Let's go and have a look. Right in the middle of this woodland. Oh. I can sit and listen to the birds. Beautiful. I keep saying beautiful, don't I? There's only way to describe it really. I did bring my tarp with me because <clears throat> it was raining this morning and uh, I would have set it up but I don't think I'm going to need to so that would be good if I don't have to set that up oh, just going to see if it's I think I'm going to put some coffee on distant chainsaw Mixed in with the birds. I try not to bury my hands this week on the pot. <clears throat> that will never do. Fuck those birds. You can hear it over there. The wild garlic. It's going to be nice. I chop it up and put it in with my chicken. My chicken and mushrooms. Will it go? I don't know. Give it a go, can't we? Coffee. I know a chainsaw is uh, obviously a man-made thing, but it seems to go with the countryside, I think. When you hear a chainsaw in the distance with the birds, it's sort of like... Um, It works, doesn't it, with the countryside? <laughs> Shouldn't, but it does. Squirrel just ran up the tree behind me. <laughs> Mind you, it's his environment, isn't it? Not mine. Or is it? I think this is my environment. This is definitely my environment, and I don't want to litter it with my uh, rubbish bag. There's already enough rubbish around here. Unbelievable. I've got these weird um, patties. I got them in the reduced section months ago. Stuck them straight in the freezer. But they're chicken burger patties. I didn't know what they were because the reduced sticker was over. And it's, I still can't make out what it says. 
but hang on, I haven't got my glasses on. Cooked and fried chicken product made from mechanically separated chicken meat. That sounds nutritious, doesn't it? Fry in a pan for three minutes on a high heat. That's what I'm going to do. Fry in a pan for three minutes on a high heat. There's actually five in there. I'll probably do three of them. I don't think I'll have them all. Three in a, in a sandwich is plenty, I think. With me mushrooms and... Uh, I did bring a sachet brown sauce, so I'm not going to use it now because I've got my uh, wild garlic. I'll use that instead. That should be nice, I think. It's your Mazarin scout. Still frozen a bit. Oh. It should be okay because uh, it's cooked meat in it. I think I can take it. If no more videos go up, you know why. Yeah, still slightly frozen. Who cares? Wow! Let's give it a go and see what happens. A bit of a sizzle there already. Didn't bring any olive oil on me either. That's a bit of pain. Just slice up some mushrooms, put in there with it. I might put a little splash of water in there too, because uh, say I forgot my olive oil. Because I need to And then I'm going to break up this garlic. Oh, smell that. I wish you could smell it. Chicken patty, mushrooms, and wild garlic. I think maybe I should have picked more of that wild garlic. Oh, smell it, tell you. Two bits of bread. Oh. That's it. Oh. What's the best way to do this? Just chuck three patties in there. And then... Mm. Some mushrooms. I wish I pick more of that uh, wild mustard now. Wild uh, garlic. I'm thinking of garlic mustard, innit? Yum, yum, yum. There we go. Nice thick chicken patty, mushroom and wild garlic sandwich. Shall I give it a go? I think I should. Cool. Oh, that's really nice. Just a hint of garlic in there. I think that's all it needed. That's all the garlic it needed. Mm. That's really at the spot. garlic there.
Mm. So anyway, <clears throat> the eagle-eyed amongst you may have realised that I've changed the name of my channel now to Rob the Rover. And I haven't really, this is the first proper roving I've done since, well, like I say, October, November time. This is nice. I'm just going to make a pig of myself, as usual, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Just going to turn the camera around <coughs> while I'm finishing this off. And I'm not going to say anything. Just want to listen. Want to catch some bird song. Lovely, isn't it? I could sit here in silence all day long, just listening to those birds. Clean off the scout. It's a very good knife, very good um, EDC, but I do miss bark. Some colour up. Roughly where I was. Sitting. Where my feet were. And I'm all done. All ready to go. Right, I'm going to head back to the footpath because I want to go to the end of this little woodland which is over that way somewhere. Ooh. Chicken burger is nice. Chicken sandwich, should I say. Chicken sandwich, mushroom and wild garlic. That was the business. Hopefully I can find the path again. It's got to be there somewhere. So this is a public footpath. Obviously, just the Pilgrim's Way. Or Pilgrim's Trail, as it's known as. So you do pass people every now and then. But everyone's very pleasant. Oh. Listen to the birds. Singing in the sky. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I've got the water source here, stagnant as you like. Right. Does sound like it's running somewhere. See oil on the top of that. Southwark Estate, and it's pronounced Southwark, not Southwick. There's a couple of deer in the field over there. Let's see if I can zoom in close enough. I don't think I can. They are looking at me. Round about, where are we? There, somewhere laying down.
this little trickling stream here runs down here and at the bottom here is a ford <coughs> and uh some times of the year you can't get down this road they have to close it off this is pigeon house lane by the way oh, for god's sake even in the countryside people dumping their bloody bloody dirty masks unbelievable and obviously it gets quite icy because water goes across the road here is the ford i don't know if it's ever got six feet deep a lovely little ford thank you mr crow it's lovely. A lot of rubbish in here. Even the old road close sign over there. But if you look on Google Earth for this spot, Petty Moor Lane. Is it Petty Moor Lane? No, not Petty Moor Lane. Pigeon House Lane. At this very spot, you'll see a burnt out car. This is quite a, used to be quite a well known spot. People have dumped their cars. After they've stolen the cars, they just um, come here, set them on fire at this spot. That's, that's very nice of them, isn't it? down to the crossroads fell down on my knees I'm not gonna fall down on my knees it would hurt too much and there's no devil to sell your soul to down here and over there is the back of Fort Ridley but is it the back or is it the front because that's the way the guns would always face this way the guns always faced inland for an attack from the north of Portsmouth. So, uh, yes, it's pretty well hidden. It's well disguised. You could be coming up on that and not realise it until it's too late and a load of mortars came down on you. <laughs> There's the Ford. Forget you are being watched. All suspicious people and vehicles reported directly to the police. Now begins the uphill slog. Uphill for a mile. So, uh, you don't want to see me get knackered here, do you? I'll bring you back and I'll get to the top and I'll do a 360. You can have a look at. Portsmouth that way to the south and the rest of the country to the north <laughs> in the words of Jeff Goldblum that's one big pile of shit a bit ripe We have Portsmouth over there and the Isle of Wight in the distance. Ports Downhill Road, the car's going by. Over there we have Fort Widley. So that's about as far south as we can go now. And then you turn around. Sorry about the wind. And then you have the north. Because <laughs> everything is north from this point onwards, really. The north and the south. Thanks for watching. Rob the Rover 
and I will see you again when I'm roving about wherever it may be. I'll see you soon. Bye.